Hey everyone, Matthew Vaughan has directed three Kingsman films. They were really good spy action comedies that built up a cool world. He's back with another spy flick, Argyle. The story sees Ellie Conway, played by Bryce Dallas Howard, get into trouble as her spy thriller books are mirroring real life events. Spy Aiden, played by Sam Watwell, comes to her aid to protect her from an organisation called The Division. This action comedy is quite lacking in laughs. However, I really enjoyed the setup for this story, even more than the Kingsman Secret Service. I really liked how they transitioned from fiction to real world. Bryce and Sam have great chemistry together, and I really enjoyed seeing them over the course of the film. This cast is an ensemble one. You've got Brian Cranston, Catherine O'Hara, Henry Cavill, John Cena, Ariana DeBose, and Dua Lipa. All amazing, and it worked really well together in their roles. Also, Samuel Jackson and Sophia Butella, who starred together in the first Kingsman, really great casting. No one phoned it in. It looked like they all had a blast filming their scenes and gave good performances. Matthew Vaughan has always had a great flair for action. Kick-Ass had great action as well as X-Men First Class. Argyle doesn't have his best action sequences, but they were still great and went for more of a comedy angle. I got hooked on the story of Elliot needing to be kept out of harm's way and forced to think of a new material for the whole book. The film relied too much on twists and turns that it became not quite convoluted because it was easy to follow, but tried to do too much, I felt. Certain things bothered me a bit. However, I then remembered that it's all just silly fun. I didn't take it too seriously, so I moved on from it and didn't think too much about the negatives. It's a great looking film, as it should have having a budget of 200 million. So the film needs to make at least half a billion realistically to break even. Sequels or a prequel are in mind for this new world, but they can only come if the money is made. I'm going to give the film 7 out of 10. Not the best spy action comedy, but the story is great and the ensemble cast do a great job in their roles. It definitely went a bit silly and over the top in the climax. There's a shootout scene that went so beyond bonkers to Leona Lewis's run. However, fancy was a focus, not realism, so it gets a pass. Let me know if you've seen Argyle and your thoughts on it. Like and subscribe. Take care.